Distilled water is liquid water that was created by first boiling water and then condensing the steam back into liquid. That's distilled water, and it's almost completely free of minerals or contaminants. So in this video, I want to explain to you why I think drinking distilled water is a healthy thing to do and why you might want to consider it for your own health and family. So I've got three glasses of water here. You can see uh, one is distilled, produced with the water distiller we have in our home. This is tap water that we get. And then this is something called boiling tank water, which I'll explain in a second. But right now, I just want to show you, using this total dissolved solids meter, the difference between these three. So distilled water, uh, zero. Oh, it's showing one part per million. So pretty much completely mineral free. One part per million is not very much. Could it be caused by... Um, you know, little dust that settled in that glass. Now the tap water, this is from our home. We're on a private well. And oh, let me just clear that. And work on there, 218 parts per million. So 218 parts per million of what? Well, of this. This is the mineral residue that was taken out of the tap water, uh, leaving behind the distilled water. This is the kind of thing that my family and I would have ingested over several months. Now, this is probably uh, mostly calcium and magnesium, given the bedrock in our area and water chemistry. And you might be thinking, well, don't we need calcium and magnesium? And you might even go to the drugstore and buy supplements of that sort. The problem is that this form of magnesium and calcium is not something that your body can use very easily. It actually has to work hard to get rid of it. Um, not that there's a huge amount here anyway. Even if this stuff was the kind of calcium and magnesium that your body needs, you would have to drink maybe 100 gallons a day of tap water with this concentration of minerals in it in order to get your daily requirements. So, first of all, it's not very much. You're not getting very many minerals, but the minerals you are getting are causing your body some problems, and it has to work hard to get rid of it. And one place it gets rid of this is in your joints. This is uh, one of the causes of recurring joint pain and inflammation. Another place this stuff shows up is kidney stones. Um, the, it, the kidney stones are going to vary depending on the mineral composition of the water where you live, but um, that's where they come from, like this. So, this third glass of water, let me just show that to you. So, in the distiller that we have, tap water goes in, distilled water comes out, and the minerals are left behind in the boiling tank. Now, in another video, I, I explain what the boiling tank is and show it to you. But, essentially, the boiling tank in a distiller is kind of like the Dead Sea in the Middle East, in that Mineral-laden water goes in, but mineral-free water goes out. So in the boiling tank, uh, there's going to be a buildup of minerals over a period of time. And that has to be removed from time to time. But just let's take a look and see what we've got here. So this was pretty much zero distilled, 200 and something parts per million tap water. And the boiling tank water, uh, you know, we're up over well, 1472 1,472 parts per million in the, in the boiling tank water. So you get some sense here of the minerals that are removed and how that, and how that happens. Now, there is another reason why you would want to drink distilled water. It doesn't apply to me because I live in the middle of nowhere. I'm 100 miles from any industry, at least. Uh, our, our well is drilled into bedrock. I'm not worried about chemical contamination, but... I would certainly be concerned about chemical contamination if I lived downstream, so on the lake or river, downstream from a large population. Because there's something happening with municipal drinking water that you need to understand. From a, from a bacterial point of view, you're not going to get sick drinking water anywhere in North America or any, any um, uh, modern country. We've got the microbe thing taken care of mostly with chlorine, at least in North America, and that has a whole bunch of problems associated with it. 
which I won't talk about now, but what the municipal system cannot remove are contaminants that are now building up in the natural ecosystem. And these are of two types. One type is female hormones from birth control pills. Uh, these get into the sewage and from the sewage, they get back into natural water courses and they are causing problems with fish and frogs. You can Google it yourself. Uh, female hormones in the ecosystem, just Google something like that and you'll see case after case after case of mutated uh, fish and frogs in these natural ecosystems. And that's because of what we're putting into the natural ecosystem. Now, the thing is, not only are we putting it in, in the form of our sewage, but our municipal treatment plants cannot take it out, not completely. So you're getting some of that in your drinking water. Another thing you're getting in your drinking water, depending on where you live, and depending on the time of the week, and this is kind of interesting, is the residue of recreational drugs. Uh, studies have been done to show, to, to analyze the trace uh, residue of recreational drugs in sewage, leaving sewage treatment plants. And as you'd imagine, it spikes up between Thursday and Sunday. And those are also going into the natural ecosystem and they cannot be removed by the municipal system that takes that water back in from the lake or river and purifies it and makes it safe to drink. So those substances are in municipal water supplies that are downstream from large populations. Distillation is the most effective method that I know for removing those things. So two reasons to recap. Getting rid of these minerals, which are not what you need actually, and also a, a purer water supply in terms of chemical contamination. Now these chemical contaminants aren't going to make you sick in a week or a year or maybe even 10 years, but we're talking about a cumulative effect. Um, and this is why I think it's safe, it's, it's, it's prudent to, uh, to pay attention to this. Now, I'm not the only one who thinks this. I'm not just making this stuff up. The prominent people throughout history uh, are on record as uh, approving of distilled water for drinking. And I just want to show you a couple of examples of that right now. So if you have any questions about drinking distilled water or home distillers, we've got a fair amount of experience with this. So just drop me an email and I'll be happy to help you out.